Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Harry. We're gonna dive into a new game today. This is the park. It looks very, very cool. It came out about three or four years ago. The premise is that you are a mother looking for her son that's run, run away from you uh, and into a decrepit amusement park hiding some dark and sinister secrets. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Ha! <laughs> stay in the car. You're not gonna stay in the car, are you? Look at you. You look like a, a troublesome kid. Wow, she is slow. Are you wading through hummus or something? Like, what's wrong? Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Interact. Examine the plaque. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May, of May 1977, James B. Longley. Hey. Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. You think? I'll unlock the gates for you. Thanks. I think your boy ran off. Thanks for unlocking the gate, mate. Anything in the bin? Mm. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch me, mommy. What the heck? Catch me, mommy. Sound. Where are we going? Trapped forever. Wait for mommy, Callum. This way, mommy. Why me? Your little ones. Chad the Chipmunk recommends. Try the Tunnel of Tales. For a gentle, family-friendly retelling of timeless fairy tales, uh, grab an adult and jump on the bumper cars. Ooh, bumper cars, yes. Callum, where Callum. are you going? Over here. Ah, oh, you little... <sighs> you sod. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Okay. Where, oh Callum? The park. What happened here? Yes, she could run. It's easy to get lost here. Okay, Atlantic Island Park. You got the first wheel roller coaster, bumper cars, sideshow alley entrance to where where the star is. There, House of Horrors, Octatron, and Tunnel of Tales. All right. Um. Callum, stay where you are. Callum. Callum! Ah, ah, kids! You can't catch me. I'll catch you, you little ball bag. Come here. Hmm. 
You, wait up! Caleb! Caleb! Carrie Killian is Satan's mole. Ah. Oh. oh, it's a nice backdrop. In the right way, there's a creepy, creepy thing up there. That's the park mascot. Hello? That's a cool setting so far. It's a cool vibe. And it saves a lot as well. Examine shoe. Ooh. They think this belongs to Kelm. You think it's your son's shoe. Okay. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die, useless slob. Chad, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you're having a tough time. What's this? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance of my ad. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shirts from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arrived, had arrived, arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. Took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts to warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park, the name is perfect, and I can't imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. All right, Callum! Callum, tell mommy where you are. Callum! Oh, we're just gonna end up making our way round. Callum, right. stay where you are! Oh, you're on there, are you? I see you. You... Oh. Is there anything around here I need? Oh, I can't wait to ride the swan. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Poor them. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days.
okay. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children still licking their sweets, followed. Slip me! Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Weirdo. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Good work, Gretel. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Murder! You murdered the witch! And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, oh. they divided up the body <laughs> of the grim. old witch and ate her. That's not how I remember it. Wow. Okay. Bit, bit weird. Thanks for the uh, the amazing story about the cannibalistic children that ate the witch. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. 
Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. All right. Pressing on. Another accident. This place. Creepy bear. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor has booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers come out of simple curiosity. I, dedu I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Art Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative. And that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. What the heck? It's a knife in the bear's eye. That's lovely, isn't it? On we press. So Resident Evil 4, and they're pushing boulders off the, the cliffs. What do I hear? The octopus ride. Golly gosh. Come to mommy, Callum. Guys, that's all I've got time for on part one. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Anyone want to see more like this, we'll be back soon with another part of the park. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.